Hi, I'm Colin Bay. I'm a co-owner of First Crack Coffee along with my brother Brennan, and I want to talk about our education and production facilities. So we opened our business in 2013. Since then, I've visited over 10,000 cafes and roasteries, and I can tell you that there's a lot of interest in roasting, but the hurdles are huge to getting into it. Equipment's expensive. Even this one and a half kilo roaster, which is a small roaster, but a good one, $10,000. Space is limited. If you're a cafe owner, do you have space for a roaster? What about storing your green? What about a cupping lab? And the cost of coffee education is also really, really high. Those are problems. They box people out. And who's getting boxed out? It's small businesses, it's the independent business, and it's people uh, who are less wealthy with less access to capital and, uh, and less access to investment. So how do you navigate that? Well, you can get a smaller roaster, but that capacity is going to limit you. You can get a cheaper roaster, but is it going to cost you more in the long run because of maintenance? Is it going to have limited features? Is it made in circumstances that might not uh, gel with your own ethics and those that um, we, especially coffee, expect of our coffee? So it's tricky. And Brennan and I were trying to figure out a way to help people navigate that. Um, hence our coffee production and education facilities. So we have them in St. Louis, Denver, Kansas City, Cleveland, an education facility in Rochester, and we have more on the way. So what we do is we teach our customers uh, for free how to roast, but also we kind of have a comprehensive bean to brew um, curriculum. So we teach them for free, and then we have equipment available for rent, or we can roast your brand, your specifications to your profile, um, and deliver it. So the average cost, according to the SCA, of roasted specialty coffee wholesale is $9.40 per pound. Most of our customers are walking out the door of our facilities with responsible, transparent, and efficiently sourced green. They're walking out the door with roasted coffee for about half that cost. So all the other things, the ancillary things, are basically free or at cost. Things like green coffee storage, um, access to packaging equipment, and so on. The other thing is by work, by us working with a number of cafes, we're able to extend to our customers benefits of scale that the small independent business would otherwise not have access to. For instance, we get uh, terms from our green coffee partners. So we are able to extend those terms to our customers. Many of our customers thus are able to source green coffee, profile it, roast it and sell it before they have to pay for it. And they're doing so without the risk or without the sunk costs, things like just inventory sitting on the shelves. We also don't compete with our customers. So First Crack does education and production. With these facilities, we do not have our own First Crack coffee brand of roasted coffee. And we feel like that's a pretty important distinction. Um, that allows us to support our customers rather than compete with them. We view this as an opportunity for you to enhance your business. You already have expertise, expertise specifically in coffee. You have people with coffee skills. You have credibility and uh, of your brand and respect of your customers. So what really you can do here is augment your business from a cafe to a fully fledged coffee business. No longer do you have to own the roaster to own the roast. So we'd encourage you to come by one of our facilities or shoot us an email or give us a call and let's see if uh, First Crack can't uh, get you roasting.